Rocket Racing just dropped a brand new update today. There's a ton of different things, new tracks, new items. So we're gonna cover Check all of that stuff sure in this video. Right, Let's get What's going on everybody, it's Kolev. So there's been a lot of stuff. The, the, the update has been relatively big. I haven't really got into the games yet. We are gonna get into some games at the end, so stay tuned for that. We got a lot of things, man. So the first thing, let's go to the shop, because that's the first uh, major thing that popped out to me. Oh, you just saw a little preview. We got boost. They added boost to the game. We got uh, this boost, aerial boost, and they put the Santa Fe wheels inside of uh, of the game as well. Now, one of the cool things is that all of these actually link back over to Rocket League. So if you buy any of these, you also get them in Rocket League, which is pretty dope. And I think Rocket League is the same way. If you buy things in Rocket League, I think it does transfer over to a uh, Rocket Racing. But they got the McLaren in the game, and I'm not going to front with you. <laughs> this thing is kind of cold. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I might end up getting it. But I actually might. I think I'm going to restart a video series going from Bronze to Unreal on my other account. Because that account actually has all of my Rocket League stuff. So, I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and just grind up that account. So, yeah. So, we got the boost category. As you can see, just has the regular boost right now. We go over here and you got the drift smoke and you got the classic trail uh, that we normally had before uh, the drift smoke was a thing now aside from that we got uh, two brand new maps one of them is going to be festive falls 2 and the other one's going to be day drifting 2. <laughs> a lot of people hated day drifting because it was so easy it was such a boring map uh, but we're gonna get into it and see how it looks but before we get into those the last few things I wanted to go to show y'all we got new quests right over here and it's just more colors more colors for your drift smoke just more things to go in and just grind through you get them at completing you know the ranks at all these different ranks you'll get them uh, then once you get to unreal you get the the purple smoke so I don't really know how it's gonna work necessarily since I'm already unreal uh, so I already went through all of these not exactly sure maybe by winning unreal ranks it also does the rest i have no idea but like i said we're gonna get us some games and find out all right so here's festive falls 2. so some other major things that uh they actually added in this update was something that we've been talking about forever the collision uh the bumping all of that stuff is apparently extremely toned down now um i don't know like what the extent is this is interesting here we go. Um, but they said, oh my god. Okay. But they said it's what they did. Okay. This is definitely interesting. The original Festive Falls was definitely was definitely not like this. What is happening here? Oh my god. You can't even can you not even go through the tunnel? I don't think you can. This is actually pretty wild. It, we're just hitting every single hazard, Jesus. Um, so yeah, so they fixed, and I, again, quote unquote, fixed uh, the bumping. Uh, they toned it down by, by toning it down a lot. To quote what they said in the patch notes, they made uh, the collisions far less extreme. So we'll see what that actually means. But um, yeah, we're gonna get some games and find out. So far, this map seems uh, pretty interesting. I definitely uh, think it's going to be pretty fun to play in ranked. It actually seems like a, a pretty well-changed map uh, compared to the, the first iteration. So that's pretty nice. Let's get into the next one. All right, so another major thing that they actually changed, and this map already looks insane, uh, is they actually changed how hazards work. So normally when you hit a hazard, your car will completely slow down and you won't be able to drift or do anything. It pretty much just, just kills all your momentum. So now the way it works is you're still able to drift and everything, but now you just get a speed penalty and it so it doesn't in turn interfere with your drifts. Oh my God, this is crazy. This is actually a pretty sick, this is actually pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie to you. This, this is dope. This is dope for sure. Okay. I see you. I see you. I see him. The, the, the team. The team's coming with the heat. All right. This is gonna be very interesting. Trying to see what the actual roots are. I saw it was a boost pad right there. Boost pad right there. Um. But yeah. So hazards. Kind of a new and definitely a new change. I, I think that's gonna. Uh. I think that's for the better. Oh my god. 
New tech, new tech, hold on. No, no it wasn't. But yeah, this map is definitely, it definitely feels fun uh, doing all these, these little drifts. I, I see that right there already gonna be a cut. Potential cut, let's see. Come off here, yeah, flip over. Probably do some boost like this. Yeah, it's probably the shortcut. Um, up to this side. Yeah, probably go down. Okay, I was about to say, I definitely got the thing. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, this, this, this map seems cool, man. It's gonna, definitely, people are not going to be drifting, I'll tell you that. They're going to be cutting for sure. Uh, but this map is pretty sick. Uh, it's pre pretty dope, pretty dope. Good job. All right, so that for the most part is all the major things that happened in the update. Let's see, right now I'm currently 973 uh, in the world. Let's go ahead and actually get into some, uh, maybe a ranked game. The video's already getting a little bit long. So we'll get into one ranked game and uh kind of test out the collision so let's get it all right so we're gonna get put in sidewinder i was hoping we'll get uh you know one of the new maps but it is what it is you're gonna see people with the mclaren got the wheels as well this is looking nice this is looking nice boom 99 percent get out of my way boom. let's get a first bro First game back in a minute. Let's get a first. I think he's drafting off me. There we go, there we go. Come on. Oh, bad drift, bad drift. Too bad, not too bad. Oh, very bad. Very oh, actually, that that bump didn't feel too bad. That was that was a really bad uh, boost by me there, though. But it's fine. It's fine. First game on. First game on. Not tripping. Okay. That bump would have for sure cucked me early. It's feeling pretty good so far. Feeling pretty good. Like there's still a bump there. Like the bump element is, is definitely still there. But yeah, it kind, of, it kind of seems like you more bounce off the cars rather than them necessarily like redirect your velocity, which I think is honestly a lot better. I think people are going to like that a lot more. Yeah, yeah, this, this is good. This is good so far. This is good. It's making it more about the racing now instead of uh, avoiding collisions. Go. So far, so good. It's fine. Go, got a little draft there. Nice. Ooh, okay, so that still kind of absorbed my. Uh, my momentum there but honestly that makes more sense to me i'm like right next to his car i would rather honestly i don't know if it doesn't make more sense to me but i'd rather take that than the bumps to be honest so so far so good man like that's nice right there that would have i would have all my momentum would have been gone this is looking really good i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie Ooh. myself here hold on oh, I was gonna be a crazy boost oh no I lost it oh, we, gotta, we gotta get three gotta get three nice boom boom this guy might have us yeah, he got us. That's fine. I'll take a second. I'll take a second. First game. This is the first game on. But hey, I'm not gonna lie. I, I think they did it. They did it. They actually did it. They fixed collisions. They fixed collisions in the game. Oh, it's also cool. That's a cool new uh, first place uh, type thing. I got us to 912. Hopefully they fixed this thing because that thing was so annoying when it wouldn't show you uh, your place. It's like they kind of shaped up the UI too. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they changed up the UI a little bit. I, I like that. 
All right, so we're heading in the right direction. I, I, I wanna say in this video, I think they fixed the issue. They did it. Epic fixed the issue. Psionics, I don't, I think it's Psionics, honestly, that is the one managing this part of the game. That's why I say Psionics, uh, in that, that little short I posted, I, I, I think the Psionics team from Rocket League is actually the ones that are working on uh, this game. Don't quote me on that. That's what I believe, because I know that for about two years, that team was working on this game and they went back to working on Rocket League. So I think it's Psionics, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, they 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 fixed it. They I want to say they fixed the bumping, man. That race felt smooth. I felt like uh, I wasn't getting cheated out of anything. Uh, I, I felt like I got second place. The person that was in front of me was just racing a better race than me, and that's fine. Yeah, they did it. I think I could comfortably say they did it. They fixed it. They finally fixed Rocket Racing. So I hope this brings more people back to the game um to finally know that the bumping issue is resolved um at least 90 percent i mean i think i think there needs to be some sort of bumping so yeah i want to say maybe they 100 percent fixed it honestly it felt really good that was one game uh, i'm gonna get some more games in my live so if you do want to check me out look for when i'm live down at my profile icon guys i appreciate you watching this video i love y'all uh, leave a like down below if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy my videos and like always have a good one later